So next one we were talking uh, about physical size mm -hmm. in hockey. 1985, like it's old school hockey now. There's a lot of clutching and grabbing. There's a fight every two two minutes. The bigger you were, the better. If you could, uh, you know, if you, you didn't necessarily have to skate because you can get your stick into someone and you can, you know, it was a physical, physical game, which was, I was fine with. But I was only five foot, nine and a half and 170 pounds when I was 16 years old playing in that league. Did that end up being a reason why you didn't make it though? Like the stature part of it? Because we talk about this all the time, how it was a different game. Because of the way the game was played back then, do you think it could have been partly like a timing thing. Physically, maybe you weren't what was being looked for at the time. I don't care what anyone says right now. The smaller player has a chance. They do. Like in, we're talking 2018, 19, 20, 21, maybe through to 25. I disagree because you know what the first thing they, everyone asked when uh, Charlie got interviewed? Size of your feet, how big are how tall are your parents? Yeah. Size doesn't matter. It's be just bigger. better to be yeah. bigger. Like to a certain degree, it is. To answer your question, was size a factor? 100 percent but it's not the factor mm -hmm. um so somebody and this was just a question that looks like a kid asked so i yeah. thought it'd be good to no talk it's about probably it a, a kid asking because he would like help yep that's right what can smaller players do to separate themselves from other players so this was in the context because we were talking about in that clip actually how it doesn't matter what people say being bigger is just better it's, it's just better to be bigger because you just have advantages from your size from a size standpoint so if you're a smaller what, yeah when you're when you're big you have to prove you can't play yeah, that's right. If you're good and big, you have to prove that you can't play. If you're small and good, you have to prove that you're good in spite of being small. Is, was that that's, the no, sense? that's great. Well, well said. You know what I mean? Yeah. Totally. But, so what does a small guy have to do? Like, number one, uh, I love that question because I like helping guys. Because I could probably tell right now this kid's a tiger just by asking that question because he's probably going to take this uh, information and go with it, right? Uh, so when you're a smaller guy, uh, we got the I, one of my best examples is um, – on Charlie's team is Benny McFarland. He's five eight or five seven and a half or something like that. And the guy stands out um, not because he puts ten pucks. In, like because you would think uh, small guys have to be f fast and score goals, yeah, skilled, right? Skilled, He's skilled. player. Yeah. yeah, but that's not necessarily so. You got to bring something to the table, just like a big guy. Uh, so being small, you have to do something to stand out. So like Ben McFarland on the Guelph Storm, he's uh, he's a, a, a tiger. He never stops moving. Hits man. everybody. Yeah. Like he's a very physical player, and he's a smaller, thicker guy. Um, he is a tenacious forechecker. He gets loose pucks, and he's a great penalty killer and good in his D zone. So he's got speed. So that's what I would say for a young guy: is make sure that you're standing out. It doesn't, or a young guy, a small guy. Um, you want to be as so when you're small, you do want to be as fast as possible. And you want to be as strong as possible so that you're like built like a little bit, I don't want to say built like a fire hydrant, but kind of built like a fire hydrant, meaning that you're just hard to knock off a puck so that when you do come in contact with someone, even when they're big, it's like hitting a, you know, a yeah. thud, not just a big body. Yeah. So, you know, you make an impact when you do have uh, physical contact and stuff, but, you know, obviously work on your offensive side of the game. That would help, help you. But I mean, being a superb uh, defensive player, four checker, and and uh, um, on that is a, that's it's good enough. You just yeah, yeah, do something different than anyone else. So yeah. find your niche, uh, and you know you know it's sad in a way that the smaller guys always do have to prove themselves. Like there's a little chip on the shoulder, and it's like when a Brendan Gallagher, who's actually not just a small guy, that's pretty good. He's a, he's a superstar, mm -hmm. and it's like he's always got to it's always referred to that he, for a small guy. No, the guys that compete, and I think that's the word that you have to have for a, a smaller guy is just the compete level off the charts. Yep. Um, you know, and I could say this as a player, like when you have a, a guy that, when, you know, when you, if you're a smaller guy that's, uh, I mean, play with Tiger Chitteroni when I was in junior, 5'8", and he would go against anybody. He becomes scary because you're, you know, it's that small package of dynamite. You know, and uh, you surprise people. And if you if you can stick up for yourself as a small guy, I mean, you, you'll create room for yourself. Yeah, that's but it. don't like the thing with the small guys, smaller guys, is don't look at yourself as small. It's a it's a big mistake um, because it's always in the back of your head. Just look at yourself as a player, yep. and 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 work your ass off because like create doubt every time you talk, tell yourself that you're small. Just yep. never mind that you're small. Just ignore it. Yeah. Pretend you're six foot three.
I think that good the marker that you, you mentioned there, the compete, yeah. that's the measuring stick, yeah. right? Like make sure your competes off the charts and then you specialize in whatever the, the, that thing is that you're good at, whatever yeah. the niche is, that could be for checking, whatever. It could be skill, it could be whatever yeah. whatever however you play, but that compete thing, that's gotta be the common yeah. uh, denominator.